So on June 5th, 2023, Apple announced their next big product, the Apple Vision Pro AR headset, which if the rumors are true, should be releasing in the next couple of weeks or months. This episode of the vlog will explore whether or not this new headset will be applicable to indie musicians and how it will impact, you know, the music industry or just our content creation as we know it. So let's get started. Firstly, let's address the elephant in the room. The headset is going to be incredibly expensive, starting at $3,499 US dollars, which is equivalent to over 5,000 Australian dollars. And that is equivalent to about 85 million Vietnamese dollars. This huge price tag already means that this technology won't be very accessible at least in the very beginning stages. Apple plans to release a cheaper alternative aimed at consumers either later this year or early 2025, and this should come with a much lower price tag. Considering Meta's recent colossal failures trying to make AR and VR work, it might seem like a gamble with Apple doing this and investing so much money into this new product. But if you look at Apple's past, they don't gamble. So they must know something that we don't, or at least they are banking on this sort of technology and this form of taking in media really taking off in the near future. I believe that the headset is actually a natural form of evolution in how we will consume content in the future. I think it still has a long, long way to go before everyone has a pair on their head, but I think that is the eventual future that we are heading towards. So I think it's important to pay attention to it now as independent artists. Now I'm going to go over some of the opportunities and threats that this new technology poses to independent artists. Starting with opportunities, the first one is AR live streams with your fans. These are going to be much more immersive than just an IG live because it's going to feel like, you know, you are in a room with your fans actually around you. And, you know, maybe you can live stream a recording sesh and then it will be like It'll be as if, you know, they're right there in the recording studio with you as you record it. I think it will create a new way to break the boundary between fan and artist. Secondly, I think in the future we are going to start seeing more immersive music videos where you are not actually viewing a music video from one static point, but you are able to view the music video from the center of it. We're going to have much more dynamic and I believe three-dimensional music videos out in the future. It's not something that, you know, an independent artist can quickly whip up, but with the way, you know, AI and stuff is going, you might even be able to get AI to make you one of these videos. The third opportunity as well is practicing and rehearsing your live shows. You could, you know, generate yourself on top of a stage in front of a stadium with the crowd in front of you, and you can use that to imitate what it's actually like to perform on stage for a show later on. Personally speaking, when I practice in my bedroom, it is a completely different experience to when I'm actually on stage. Practicing in my bedroom does not cut it. So if I had this sort of technology available to me, I would sure as hell use it. Now let's move on to the threats. There's two main threats I want to talk about. And the first one could be the potential for lower live show attendance. If AR and VR goggles get so good that it's as if you're at the concert, even when you're just at home, then I think some people will stop making the effort to get to the music venue because for a lot of people, you know, it's a hassle. You gotta pay for petrol to get there. You gotta find parking. Sometimes you gotta pay for that. And you gotta organize your transport back and everything like that. And you know, those things, depending on how far you live from the venue, take up time as well, not to mention queuing and paying for drinks and food and all that stuff. So a lot of consumers in the future may decide that, you know what, I'm just gonna pay a portion of the ticket price and just sit at home and watch it on VR goggles instead. I think in the future to combat this threat, artists are gonna have to get much more creative with their live shows. The second threat is higher cost of production. When you have a new platform or medium to produce for, that's gonna cost you money and time something that you know independent artists don't have a lot of whereas you know the bigger artists they can just throw money at it they can get hire some people to do that sort of work for them so it'd be interesting to see in the future if there is more of a disparity between you know the big record label artists and us independent folk 
down here. I think it's clear to see that virtual reality has a lot of opportunities for musicians, but we also need to stay aware of the threats. Although I ultimately believe that VR will help musicians in their musical journey, I do think it's going to create even more complexity in what already feels like a chaotic path to take. Let me know what you guys think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Is there any other emerging tech that you want me to make a video on? Did you find this video interesting? It's a little bit different to what I normally do, but I really love tech and I really love music. So it's nice to sort of merge those two topics together. Um, anyways, I'm rambling. I'll see you guys again next week. For now, peace out. We marching, we mobbing. Won't rest till we get to the top and we relentless, we restless.